what it really takes to become a software developer. Let's go. Welcome. My name is Anton from Coding Rich. I often notice that when I say I work as a software developer, people are like, oh my god, wow, you are so clever, you must be so intelligent. I could never do that. That always surprised me because like it is seen as something uh, like rocket science or some scientist or you know something similar um, but in fact it's actually not and most people they say like I'm bad at mathematics or physics or computers and I will never become a programmer and I think it's a sad thing to say and a sad attitude because then you miss out on a great chance to become a software developer. And when I started out many, many years ago, I encountered several problems, which also led me to believe like, hey, this is something very, very difficult to learn. I don't know what to do. And I lost my motivation the first time I started out. So if you right now also think like, hey, this is something very difficult to learn. I don't know how, and I don't know if I can. Let me tell you this. There's only two things you need to follow to become a software developer and if you have a normal functioning brain you can become a software developer let me tell you this let's talk about those two things you need number one is you need a burning desire without the burning desire to become a software developer you won't become one if you think like yeah it would be great to become a software developer i might study it for 10 minutes a day or like i download one of those fancy learn programming apps and like teach myself for five or ten minutes a day that's not a burning desire it's just goofing around playing around you won't become a software developer like that and it's pointless it may be cool like to like check it out a little bit but if you don't have that burning desire to like cross bridges and burn everything down and do everything you can to achieve your goal you will have a very hard time, let me tell you this. But if you're like Mark Zuckerberg or like Jeff Bezos and you want to create something cool, something big and you believe in that idea, those are the things where you get that burning desire from. Or other sources would be like uh, building a cool game, building a cool website, building a very cool app. You get the idea. To create such a burning desire, it's very helpful if you have a good goal you can grasp on. Without a goal, you won't have the burning desire because they go hand in hand. So pick a goal that you really want to achieve, that you really, really, really want, and then you will have your burning desire. And then, what else can stop you? Only one thing, and that's the second thing I want to talk about. You need consistency. Without being consistent, you will work today of that burning desire, Tomorrow you will go to the beach or have some plans with your girlfriend or whatever. Then the next day again you work. Then the next day you go to work and you're tired after work and you will have your burning desire again the next day. You see the point, like, if you have too many interruptions, if you're not consistent, if you're being lazy sometimes, it won't work. You might become a mediocre software developer after 10 years following such a routine but if you're not consistent consistent in the idea of every day i will work two hours on programming and become better and better and work on that skills until i finally achieve the big goal that i have those are the two things that are the most important of them all you don't need to be creative you don't need to be good at mathematics if you have problems somewhere along your way you have the whole internet you have Lots of people who are eager to help you on Stack Overflow. Obstacles will be there, but you can easily overcome them, like other people did. But if you have personal obstacles, by not having a burning desire and not being consistent, that's something you have to overcome yourself. But if you do those two things and stay consistent until your goal is reached, what can stop you? Ask yourself, what else can stop you then? Money? Not having a great laptop, you can work and save or take a loan or get creative. You see every obstacle you can overcome. Just believe in that, have a burning desire, stay consistent. Then you become a great and phenomenal software developer. That's something I swear on. It's actually just logic, it's just law. Just do it, just try it out and you will see. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time. Goodbye.